enter road. I came to my sister's shop, my sister's place. Hmm. I can't lose. I'm not going to road again. I've eaten pupura and your soup. Come and join me. Hello, my amazing family members on the internet. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about my project journey. And this is going to be how I used to bring my son to my friend's place to stay while I go and work on my project. I find this interesting and I thought to document this for you guys. So here I am. I brought my son to my friend's place. I dropped him by at my friend's place on a daily basis while I go and work on my project and this is me telling him bye for him to have a good time with my friend for this particular day hey. so guys I'm up to the study center to get my project work done I'm just taking a walk down to where I'll get the cab to the office center to get my job done right i hope you're going to enjoy this vlog when i bring all the videos together so please if you have not subscribed click the subscription button like share comment and subscribe to this page thank you so i'm going to do a quick rundown on the whole project issue so this project started in 2018 it's actually a dsc program that I'm running, that I'm doing with a foreign university that has affiliation here in Nigeria. I started the journey in 2018, but due to some constraint and some reasons, I couldn't actually finish it as at the time I was supposed to. Because of some reasons, I couldn't finish on time. Yeah, I actually got pregnant at the time. So childbearing and all of those things were constraints that were holding me back. You know, the time I was supposed to give to to do it, I couldn't really do it because I needed to attend to my child, for my health, and all of those things. And then, you know, you know the constraints that come with having a child and doing projects. It actually slows down the old work and everything. So, come 2023, I told myself that this project, I'm not going to take it further than this year. And to God be the glory, my son is a little bit grown. So I can actually squeeze, even though it's not easy, and actually squeeze at the time to get this done. So I'm presently working on my project, and the defense is going to hold this week end a few days from today. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck so that I can finish up this thing, and then I know that it's done and over with. Like I'm done and over with it, right? So I'm actually working to my study center where I'm commencing the work to meet with my project supervisor. By the grace of God, I'll get everything printed today and ready for project defense. So help me God. Thanks guys. Stay with me as we continue on this journey of our project, the defense and everything. Right? Thank you. So on this day, I didn't drop my son at my friend's place because my supervisor had already told me that he wasn't going to be around today so I couldn't print out the project work the previous day. So I thought of instead of staying at home and waiting for my project supervisor, I thought of going to the hospital to get my yellow fever vaccine and COVID-19 vaccine because those were requirements for you to travel out of the country so i was actually preparing myself towards that so this is me and my son at worry central hospital we went there to get those documentations oh boy, for my upcoming trip so guys that's how i came to central hospital and i could not get my yellow card. I couldn't get it. so it's for me to try again next time I'll try again tomorrow <laughs> oh mom what a journey today guys i'm eating pupuru and your soup come and join me mm. so i went to worry central hospital to do my yellow card and covid 19 to take my yellow fever vaccine and covid 19 vaccine 
but I wasn't attended to. They said they don't open their vaccines on normally except Friday, so I have to go back again tomorrow, which is Friday, before they can give me the vaccine and get over. So I just felt okay instead of going home and doing nothing today, so I decided to come to grandma's shop, grandma's place actually. So that's where I am now filming this video. That's how I enter Rodo. I came to mom's shop, mom's place. Hmm. I can't lose. I don't come no road again. Everywhere was looking so developed and looking different, so I, I couldn't get, I couldn't find my way. But I eventually was able to locate the place, and I got here. And yeah, I yeah. am. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do. I beg you in the name of God Almighty, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you see the Lord blessing you. You see the God will just be blessing you. Once you subscribe to this YouTube channel, you will receive blessings that you've never seen in your life before. So please click on the subscription button on your screen right now if you haven't done that. And subscribe to this channel. God bless you. Love you.